everyone, it's Nat. Welcome back to Fashion Meets Makeup and part two of my Get Ready series. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I do my foundation and blush and concealer for when I wanna get ready quickly. It's just these things. So we got this L Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. We got this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. We got this ColourPop Blush Stick and uh, Cool It. And then I have the Rummel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. High definition finish, medium coverage. And I picked this one up because I was looking for something that was going to be very lightweight, medium coverage, buildable, and it said buildable on the back, said medium coverage on the front, and it was like, sold, let's try it. And I ended up liking it a lot. So I want to show you how I use it. So for tools, <laughs> Don't laugh too hard. This is what we're using for the foundation to apply it. It's a little elf brush and then it accidentally broke and I didn't glue it back together and it used to look like this and now I've misplaced this part. So now we're just using it like this, but it's okay. I've gotten used to it. So what we're gonna do is start with the foundation and this has such a weird applicator inside. At first I hated it. It was like, this is awkward and unnatural. It's this big doe foot, but now I've gotten used to using it. So with this foundation it actually dries fairly quickly. So I like to work in tiny little sections and just kind of pat it down, buff it out and just add more as you go. Now, I feel like I've always been opposite on this trend. I've never really liked full coverage ever. And I, I tried to get into it back when it was like first starting to get really popular, especially with like Revlon Color Stay. And people were like, yeah, let's do a lot of foundation, cover it all up. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. And then just kind of as I've been getting older, my skin is just like, no, we want to, to breathe. So I've been really having to stick with products that are fairly light, pretty flexible, and just not going to, uh, you know, hinder my skin from, from moving a lot because then it gets kind of irritated and even drier than it was before. So like I said, we have to work in little small sections. So I'm just kind of focusing on the, the main areas. First, I like to do this little part right here. And then I work on these bigger areas of my face because that just kind of needs a light, little even coverage. But then the areas that are more red that I need to focus on a little bit more, I slowly build those up. So I added a little bit more right here because I am a little bit red in those areas. Now we're doing right under the under eyes. And I mentioned before on here, I don't do the full on under eye concealer. So if you're waiting for that step, you'll be waiting for a while because <laughs> we don't do it on here. We're going to be putting some right here. And this part, I tend to get really dry. So I like to make sure that it's uh, really thin. I just got on my lip. I never get on my lip like that. It's because you guys are watching. That's what's happening. And you made me thinking, well, if you get really dry right there, why are you putting that much foundation? Which wasn't even that much. Uh, it's because that area does get really red and pigmented. So I do need to put product on it. I just like to blend it out so it's very, very thin. And this thing is weird where you're kind of gonna have to just like angle it different ways and to wipe the product off. So the way that I'm doing my foundation with this brush is I'm just kind of patting it down, dabbing it. And then if I need to move the product anywhere, I'll kind of swipe it a little bit and then dab it in to even it out. So that way you get even coverage up throughout. So you can see we're almost done with that foundation. So now I'm going to put it right under my under eyes. So if I look forward, you can see there's these areas right here that are a little bit darker, like compared to this area, this is darker. That's where I'm gonna put the majority of the product. And then we're just going to blend it out because this area right there doesn't actually need uh, that much coverage. It's also where I have a lot of my fine lines. So in those areas where I have more fine lines, I like to put a thinner layer or almost no product. And since this product is buildable, if I see I still have a little bit of darkness right there, I'll go ahead and just put a, a tiny, tiny bit and just really focus on that area. And before we do the rest of their face, I'm going to add a little bit of setting powder directly under my eyes so it doesn't crease. And we don't bake around here, we just set it with a thin layer of powder and then we move on. Next, we're gonna be using the concealer by ColourPop to spot conceal. So any areas that are a little bit just kind of miscolored or a little bit too red, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of concealer on there and then blend it out. So I'll show you the areas that I tend to do it. So right here is kind of red. I don't know if you can see it all that well. And then there's some right here. This concealer is actually 
pretty pigmented and I would say it's on the thicker side. That's why you actually don't need to put a lot of product because it is going to blend out and it's gonna cover because it's pigmented. So then I'm taking the same brush and then just patting down and you want to keep that concealer right there in the area that you place. So make sure you're just dabbing it down in that same area. You don't wanna dab all over the place cause then you'll get rid of the concealer and you won't have the coverage that you, you want. Next, we're gonna be applying blush. So I'm gonna be using this blush stick by ColourPop and this is in the color Cool It. So I'm gonna take this brush. It's similar to the one I was using for foundation, but this is my designated blush brush. And instead of just dabbing it directly on my cheeks, I don't like to do that because I feel like it's harder to blend it out that way. You might accidentally lift up the foundation and it's just, it's messier than you have to get your fingers all gross. So I take a brush and I dab a little bit, kind of go all over so that it gets the even amount of product on the brush. And then I'm gonna start right here on my upper cheekbone and just dab it. That's where I want the most concentrated amount of color. Try to get a lot of it off first. And then I'm going to press down and then drag up so I can blend it out up here. And then I'm going to blend it this way towards my nose. So that direction and then also up a little bit. And so it's not like full on on the apples of my cheeks, but it just slightly starts to go that way. I really like this product because it has, you know, definitely pigmentation to it, but it's actually on the sheer side where some blush sticks I've tried before, they're just so pigmented, they're like paint. And then when you try to blend it out, it's like, oh gosh, what is happening? This is way too much now. So I really appreciate that this is a little bit more on the sheer side. Then sometimes I'll go back with a tiny bit more and then just put it right there where we first started to just make that area a little bit more rosy. All right, so the last step for the face makeup is I'm gonna take this setting powder. So this is by e.l.f. It's a sheer tint uh, finishing powder in the color Fair Light. And I'm gonna take in the e.l.f. Kabuki brush and just getting some powder on there and dabbing it over the areas where I normally get a little bit more oily. So areas on my face where I know I tend to get a little bit more dry, like right here around my mouth, I actually don't even set it with powder because I don't wanna fuss with it and possibly irritate it. Also, as I said, as I was applying this foundation, it has this formula that sets a little bit in place, but it doesn't set to where it's like completely matte. So it's not going to move around everywhere. All right, and this is the finished look. So you can see we just have a light coverage of foundation. We have our kind of of glowy cheeks because this blush is a cream it almost has a little bit of like a fresh healthy sheen to it uh we spot concealed and and that's it and i really like how this foundation feels throughout the day it doesn't feel really dry now the third and final part is i'm going to be doing my brows as well as my lips so if you'd like to see that then head on over to the next video if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments feedback anything leave that down below and also don't forget to subscribe i will see you on the next video